Today I'm going to show you how you can use your iPhone or your Android phone as a webcam. Uh, it's really a pretty simple process. If you don't have a webcam and you need one, you can use your, your iPhone or your Android, or you can even use an older iPhone or Android that you just have laying around and save some money from buying a webcam. All right, so it's actually a pretty simple process. You need to load an app on your iPhone or your Android, and you need to load a driver on your Windows machine or your Mac machine. Uh, so the first thing is you need to go to uh, canoni.com. I'll put a, the link in the description of the video below. And you need to download the driver for your machine, whether it's Windows or Mac OS. Uh, then the next thing you need to do is you need to load the app on your iPhone or your Android. So you'll need to go to the Apple Store or the Android Store, and you're going to look for an app called Epoch Cam. And uh, you'll uh, load that. And uh, it's a little hard for me to show you because I have one thing on the iPhone, one thing on Windows. So I'm going to show you some screen shots of uh, some of the things that I can't show you and explain them to you. Uh, so once you've downloaded the driver, you're going to um, turn the app on and to connect to it. As an example, I'm going to pull over this window, which is the settings for my Zoom, which is a teleconferencing piece of software. This this will be about the same in Skype or any app that uses a webcam. There should be a settings and a uh, video settings on it. And uh, if you if you look up here. And you can see it says Epoch camera. And uh, that's the camera we're using. That's actually from the iPhone right now. Now there are going to be two Epoch cameras in uh, the settings here uh, when you open it up. And there may be some other uh, devices on there if you have other cameras or video inputs on there. Uh, but most people will only have the Epoch cam, but it will be twice. And one's for USB connection and one's for the Wi-Fi connection. And just to show you what that looks like, I have a screenshot. This is a screenshot of the window we were just looking at. And you'll see right up in the corner, there's the Wi-Fi symbol up here. Uh, so you'll see that on, if you're using Wi-Fi, that's the symbol you want to look at. Otherwise, this will be a blank screen. It will also, once it has that on, it should have a, a little thing that will start rotating. The circle rotates, showing you when it's connecting. So the other thing we want to look at is... Uh, what the actual um, iPhone screen looks like. And so when you get it set up, you'll see it will have a picture of what the camera is taking pictures of. And then we'll have these icons along the side uh, that do various things in the application. Uh, there's a free version of this and there's a paid version. The paid version has more features. In order to get forward facing capability, you're going to need to buy the app. Uh, but you can try it out, the free version, because you really don't need to see yourself in the camera because once you get the camera set up, you can uh, turn it around and uh, you'll be able to see yourself through the application you're using on the computer. Uh, so that's one thing to be aware of. Uh, another thing is you may want to get a small tripod and a uh, cell phone mount uh, or cell phone to try pod mount so that you can hold the camera on the tripod uh, as, as opposed to holding it in your hand or trying to prop it on something because that way you can adjust it however you want. I'll leave a link below uh, in the video description of uh, one alternative for that but there are a lot of different alternatives. Uh, so over here on the right this is the forward facing camera icon here that it's just like on your camera in your iPhone or your Android where it will have a little icon that tells you you can switch uh, what side the camera is on. Uh, this only appears once you purchase the full version, but also you have to do a review. <laughs> so that's something to uh, bear in mind. You're going to have to do a review as well as purchase the full version. So you may want to try it out first, like I said. Uh, this here is for uh, mirror image, the second icon. So if you want to flip the image uh, the opposite direction, you can use that. This little flash symbol here turns the flash on it. it. It turns the light on. It turns the LED on on your camera uh, to give you a little more light if you need it. Uh, and then there's this this thing for the settings in here, which uh, sets the resolution. It sets whether you're using 
a uh, Wi-Fi or a USB connector. Uh, but by default, it puts the, the connection type on automatic, so it should pick up Wi-Fi automatically or, or your USB automatically. But if you have problems, you may want to go in there and change that. And then this third thing with the smiley face and the green on it is for green screen. Uh, most people won't be using that, so you really don't have to worry about that too much. And so, and so those are the controls for that. Uh, so that's basically all you need to do to connect up your uh, iPhone or your Android as a camera. Like I said, I tried the free version out first, see if you like it, see if you really use it. And then if you do, you may consider um, switching to the paid uh, version. Uh, anyway, that's, that's the video for today. Have a great day and I will see you soon.